morning. Today I have the big pleasure to introduce a little special treat for everyone out there in the world looking at this. Uh, I'm in Montserrat, this little volcanic island in the middle of the Caribbean. And behind me, you can see a big lava flow. And behind that is the old capital of the island called Mon uh, Plymouth. And it was completely covered in 1995. So it's like a contemporary Pompeii. And I have special permits by the police force of the island, Montserrat, to go inside today. So tag along to see how it looks like the abandoned city of Plymouth. So this is a before picture of the exact same view that we're having now. And this is how it looks now after the volcanic eruption. And you see the mountain, a little peak on the left is this one right here. And the rooftop on the left of the picture is the small rooftop over there. Horrific. So here's the police tagging along. Here's the guide, our awesome guide, our car, and here is downtown Plymouth. Okay, so here's my excellent guide, Sonny, explaining what we see on this picture. So we're standing where? Just about right here. So we're standing right there on the pier right now. Yes, and of course, there's a lot more pier that you're not seeing because it's enveloped and covered with new land. Yes. Limit before and after. And of course, here's going back to the old days. Oh yeah. This is how life was. So we did have, uh, we had it made. It was a great place for trade and for business. And yeah. The way the Caribbean used to be, not overly commercial, but just right. Yeah. And that's the pier we're standing on that's right the now. Same one. Yeah. That's right. And now it's completely empty. Yeah. Indeed. So we're looking into the second story of a hotel. Here you can see how everything, like the lava and stuff, just flowed in. So, All right, so. So that was the government headquarters. Yeah. The Barclays Bank is the one with the bluish uh, fascia board there. Yeah. There was a famous bank robbery that took place. I can tell you about it later. Really? But um, yeah, that, that, it's, a, it's a very interesting story. And of course, Church Street would have continued straight down towards the Evergreen Tree, which is like, uh, no more. So this is the main street, basically. And they owned the hotel. So this whole side of the street was this one family owned it. Yeah, that thing down there looks really good though, officer. So uh, it's also, a, it takes a lot of heat too. Absolutely. This is why they don't want to be inside. Alright. 
semi crawling into the office of the old supermarket. We got some cornflakes on the ground, some books, everything left overnight as the volcano erupted. Office of the water authorities. The stamps are still standing there. Just the paper stacks. And yeah, everything just abandoned. Like contemporary Pompeii. So there are some old stores. Economy bakery, furniture. All right. This is the Montserrat Springs Hotel reservation desk, and a little, a few relic, relics left behind, and uh, leaning towards the lobby area. And uh, there was also a gift shop on the other side. Okay. Exit through the gift shop. <laughs> So this is the dining room. That's right. The bar straight ahead, and the first entertainment and buffet up to the right side. Oh well. How much is a drink here? Free today. <laughs> Free today. Yeah. This is the exact same view. You see the roof and the buffet and the swimming pool behind us here. That's right. And this is how it looks today. So here's the nine foot mark for the swimming pool. Now it's not as deep, and here is how it used to look like before 95. Still a nice view, but very different. One was a hotel room which was converted into an office. So this is room 101. And look at the financial This area was evacuated by about 96. Here's the budget for 96 following year laying around. And the marketing plan. Top secret stuff. So this is pretty exciting walking on lava or volcanic ash. Looking inside abandoned hotel rooms. I think one of the most interesting rooms is the next one. All right, let's check it out. Sure. Yeah. Oh, here's room 105. It's full of ash. Here's the beds, lamps, the air condition, curtains. Oh, go in here. And here's the toilet seat. All covered and the bathtub as well. All full of volcanic ash. So here is the hotel safe. Upside down. Someone broke into it. There's lots of stuff flying around. Some of the receipts from 94, the year before the volcano erupted. Hello. All right. Yeah. 
a little bit scary. Oh shoot, bats, ooh, ugh, ugh. scary. Don't attack me, I don't want rabies. Ugh. All right, I don't know what this is. Ooh, but I'm scared of bats, I'm getting out of here. Ugh. Oh, crap on the floor. All right, there's no old sign. Sexually. All right, don't want to want any of that please i better get out so this is the pentecostal church and i'm gonna look inside oh, it's been abandoned for 23 years let's check it out whoa bats again Anyhow, even though I hate bats, it's nice to go inside. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Alright, that's scene. No. I woke up the bats with the singing. Apparently, they're moving on a fan. Bye bye.